One of the charming features of a shul is the ner tamid, that constant little light that burns on top of the Aron Kodesh. And the source for that custom comes from this week's parsha, which teaches Eish tamid tu kadal mizbeach lo that there should constantly be a fire burning on top of the mizbeach. And we're taught that miraculously a fire would descend from on high from Shemaim. And nevertheless, mitzvah lahavi minahad yod. Even though that there was this a fire that descended from Shemaim, there was a mitzvah for the Kohanim to ensure that they would naturally light the mizbeach all the time. And the question is why? If there was a fire anyways, why the necessity and the trouble of having to light the mizbeach? And the Sefer HaChinuch explains that it's always God's way to conceal himself. That yes, there might be overt miracles that can create a certain result, but Hashem seeks to conceal himself. And therefore, that's why that although there's a ash, a fire that comes from on high, we still want to conceal it under the mask of nature. And that's the way our world operates. In fact, the world olam comes from the word he'elem, which means to conceal. And I think that it speaks to an important lesson in tzniut, in humility, in not seeking to draw attention. And to the extent that we can conceal ourselves and act a little bit below the radar, we'll be able to focus more on the interior, on the pnimios, of what's going on in our world. There's so many distractions, but when we can conceal all of the attention and the noise and focus on the inside of the olam, so to speak, we can reveal God. And just like Hashem seeks to act in this way of tzniyos, we're also told, the Navi instructs us also to live a life of humility, of quietness, of not always seeking the attention. So yes, let's ensure that our fire is burning constantly, but also to focus on the pneumius and to not draw too much attention to ourselves. Have a wonderful Shabbos.